In the UK, some occupations struggle to get enough qualified people to fill jobs, while in other occupations, the number of skilled job seekers outnumbers vacancies. This picture varies hugely across the UK. Sometimes there's a good match between skills and jobs in the local area, whereas in other areas, there is an imbalance. In some areas, there are more skilled people than jobs, while in other areas, there are more jobs than skilled people. So, how can we get a clear picture of the supply and demand for skills at a national and local level? Introducing where the work is. Our new jobs dashboard allows users to see how many entry-level mid-skilled jobs there are and how many people might apply for them. Where the work is can help us understand the spread of jobs across different sectors and regions, helping training providers, employers and decision makers to understand their local labour market and inform decisions about investment in education and industry. It focuses solely on entry-level mid-skilled jobs, which are those that require some level of qualifications but do not require a specific degree. You can look at the results at a UK-wide level or look in more detail at a nation, region or local area. By navigating to a particular region, you can see which jobs have the most openings in that area and who those job openings are aimed at, school leavers or those graduating from further education or higher education. One of the innovations the tool offers is the Job Opportunity Score. This score reflects the number of vacancies in each occupation compared to the number of potential applicants who have recently graduated with relevant skills. This chart shows the Job Opportunity Score alongside average salary across the country for new entrants. You can see the employment opportunities ranging from low to high and salary ranging from low to high. Let's take a closer look at the dashboard. Some occupations have a high number of vacancies, for example, personal care. You can see that those looking for work in this area who have finished further education have a high opportunity score. And those who have finished higher education have a very high score, but the salary prospects are relatively low. Despite a large number of vacancies, the high opportunity indicate that there is an undersupply of qualified entrants for these roles. The story is different in other occupations. For example, in the artistic, literary and media mid-skill occupations, we can see that the job opportunity scores for both further and higher education leavers are relatively low, indicating an oversupply of new entrants into creative occupations. We can also look at a geographical breakdown. For care, we can see that there are high or very high job prospects irrespective of where you live. Whereas for arts, literary and media jobs, you are much more likely to get a job if you are a graduate in London than elsewhere. This dashboard also allows you to see job concentration data from across the UK, telling us the number of jobs in a sector relative to the population of a region. You can see that it is in London where the concentration of jobs in arts, literary and media is highest to go alongside the higher employment opportunity score, while for care there is a much higher concentration of jobs in the east and southeast of England, with fewer jobs in London. This information allows local decision makers to use the dashboard to understand job prospects in their area, to help inform their decisions about investment in education and training. Visit the dashboard today to find out more about where the work is. Where the work is was created by IPPR and Burning Glass Technologies as part of JP Morgan Chase's Global New Skills at Work programme.